Welcome, brothers and sisters. Welcome to another video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Past Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is 40 days pattern. Three times 40 days, brothers and sisters. We always know and we always knew and understood that, that there are three events for one major occurrence in the end times. We know that the number three is very prominent in the book of Revelation. Many of them understand the three and a half years, of course. And so we were always talking about the 50 plus 50. But then yesterday, the Holy Spirit said, Michael, you are missing something. You are missing something here. You are not yet completely understood all. And then he brought me a revelation. When you look at our masterpiece of the end times, we have seven, seven, seven. The first seven is spiritual. The second seven is spiritual and physical. And the third seven is physical. The, then the Holy Spirit told me, apply this to the 40 days also and you will have the complete truth. So what does that mean? I have told you that from February, we are in the final spiritual preparation period. So from February 24, the moment when the war in Ukraine started, we entered the spiritual 40 days. That will lead us with the 50th day to Passover. Then the spiritual phase is over. Then from Passover, as you have seen in the other video, when I talked about the 50 and 50 from Passover to August, then Jesus will walk with his apostles and disciples in the pattern to his first coming from Passover to June. And then he will be standing in Jerusalem for the world for the final repentance time of 40 days. Physically, to be seen by everyone and during the second 40 days, when he appears to the apostles and the disciples, the new ones, then it will only be spiritual and physical in parts because for the world it will remain spiritual, but for the apostles and disciples, they will have a, a physical encounter. You see the difference between spiritual now, Jesus is not to be seen. Also, the Spirit is working so strongly on all of us in the moment. And many of you feel it. Many of you feel there is a transformation going on. There is definitely something that is going on right now. Your body, your mind and your soul. That is final spiritual working of, this, of the Holy Spirit in you, then Jesus will come for the new apostles and the new disciples. Partially physical, not for everyone to see. And then in the third 40 days, starting from June to August, it will be a physical manifestation when Jesus will be standing in Jerusalem for the world to see and the world will reject him. Our time to be witnesses for him in the nations. And then in September 2022, war will begin in full swing. Most likely we will enter then World War III. Or at least the, the main attack on Jerusalem, so that then from there it grows into the conflict that might be in, in spring next year, then the World War III. No matter what the case is, it is, has begun in February, and many of you know and understand and feel it. So can we say 40 days to transformation? There is a kind of transformation already spiritually, but we are waiting for a physical transformation, and that could very well start from Passover to June. Brothers and sisters, it is amazing how everything is fitting together. We had the 777, now we have 40 days spiritual. 40 days spiritual and physical. 
40 days physical, three times 40 days. The first one with the Holy Spirit without Jesus, our Lord and Savior. The second one with Jesus for the apostles and the disciples called. And the third one with Jesus for the world, where the world will renounce him and call him Antichrist. It is just amazing. This transformation period, it is more glorious than I have ever imagined it. It's not just a second in time. Also, there will be a physical change within the blink and the twinkling of an eye, of course. But it is a longer phased out period, over a hundred, over a hundred and fifty days. Three times fifty days, forty plus ten always. And it started exactly pinpointed on the 24th with the invasion to Ukraine. The spiritual transformation to show us that we cannot rely on governments and leaders anymore. That the world will change forever. And that we now have to focus completely on the kingdom of God. That we have to put our trust in the Father. As Jesus has done when he walked to us. And then in the second 40 to 50 days, we then become the images of our Lord and Savior when he comes for the brides. And at the end of that period, the escape of the innocent will take place. And then Jesus will be standing alone in Jerusalem as a pattern to the two witnesses also, who will be in the third phase of the trumpets, standing in Jerusalem for the glory of the kingdom. Brothers and sisters, you need to understand Put it down, write it in your journal, that this is a moment when you understand. Enjoy, enjoy the ride, I'm telling you. Enjoy the transformational journey, enjoy it, because the Lord is changing you forever right now. We are now in the, in the midst of this final spiritual 50 days, and then we will enter the spiritual and physical world. Stand ready to stand before the Son of Man, to meet your Lord and Savior, your bridegroom, and to be chosen and to receive the mantle of light from Passover forward to June. Do not worry when it will not happen in the first day. As we see from the pattern in his first coming, he did not appear to every apostle and to every disciple at the same time. It was over 40 days. So. Do not worry if it will not be the first day or the second day. Does it matter, brothers and sisters? He will come for the brides and for all of you who are diligently watching and who are counted worthy to stand before the Son of Man. It is amazing how much clarity was given to us in the last two months. The masterpiece of the end time is confirmed all over the place, over and over and over again. It is always the number three. 777, now 50, 50, 50. Everything is there, spiritual, spiritual, physical, and physical. Brothers and sisters, I'm grateful that I can bring this truth to you. I'm grateful that I can tell you that you are in a transformational journey now. I'm grateful that the Lord has poured out his mercy through the Holy Spirit and the Son towards us so that we can be the witnesses in this 2 2, two season. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All the glory to the Father. Maranatha.